Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a skin condition that affects millions of people around the world, psoriasis. Whether you're living with it, know someone who is, or you're just curious, this video will give you everything you need to know. The prevalence, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Let's get into it. Psoriasis is a chronic autoimmune skin condition that affects about 2-3% of the global population. That's over 125 million people worldwide. It can appear at any age but often shows up between ages 15 and 35. It affects both men and women equally and can occur in all skin types, although it may appear differently on darker skin. Psoriasis happens when the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy skin cells, speeding up the skin cell production cycle. Normally, skin cells take weeks to mature and shed. In psoriasis, this happens in just a few days. But why does this happen? There's no single cause. But here are some common triggers and risk factors. Genetics. It often runs in families, infections like strep throat, stress, which can worsen flare-ups, cold weather, especially dry air, smoking and alcohol, both increase risk, and certain medications like beta blockers or lithium. Psoriasis looks different for everyone, but the most common form is plaque psoriasis, which includes raised red patches of skin covered with silvery white scales. These are often itchy, sore, and sometimes cracked or bleeding. They commonly appear on the elbows, knees, scalp, lower back, and nails. Other types include guttate, inverse, pustular, and erythrodermic psoriasis, which is rare but serious. If you think you might have psoriasis, a dermatologist can help. Diagnosis is usually based on a physical examination of the skin, your medical history, and sometimes a skin biopsy to rule out other conditions like eczema or fungal infections. So there's no cure just yet for psoriasis, but there are, you know, some really effective treatments that can help manage the symptoms and prevent those flare-ups. First up, you've got topical treatments, things like corticosteroids, vitamin D analogues, and of course, moisturizers. Then there's phototherapy, which is basically controlled exposure to ultraviolet light. Next, systemic medications. These are pills or injections that work throughout the body, including biologics, which actually target specific parts of the immune system. And finally, lifestyle changes, a healthy diet, reducing stress and avoiding triggers like alcohol and smoking can really make a big difference. While you can't always prevent psoriasis, you can definitely reduce flare-ups with some good self-care. Here's how. Keep your skin moisturized. Avoid known triggers like stress, infections, or cold and dry weather. And manage stress with things like yoga, meditation, or even therapy. Try to eat an anti-inflammatory diet. You know, lots of fruits, veggies, and omega-3 fatty acids. Oh, and avoid harsh skin products and make sure to protect your skin from injuries. So there you have it, psoriasis in a nutshell. It's honestly more than just a skin condition. It can affect your confidence, your sleep, and your overall well-being. But with the right knowledge and care, it really can be managed successfully. If you found this helpful, give the video a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs it, and don't forget to subscribe for more health tips and wellness content every week. Got any questions or maybe you want to share your own journey with psoriasis? Drop a comment below. 